All right, y'all, what's going on? Machiavelli Mills TV. Y'all immediately hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank y'all for rocking with me, man. Let's get, to the, let's get to the topic at hand. So before the Ryan Garcia, Gervonta Davis fight took place, you had many individuals feeling like there was a four kings situation at the 135 pound weight division. They felt like it was Gervonta Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, and what Shakur Stevenson has to rise up to 135, he's still at 130. Some felt like it was Teofimo Lopez. But to me, T.O. stock has fallen since then. So I think it will be Shakur Stevenson in the mix because Shakur is going to move up soon. He's uh, too big for 130, in my opinion. He's starting to get a little bit more uh, stocky or filling out. He's going to move up to 135. But since the Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis fight, people have taken Ryan Garcia out of that four Kings mix up. And the reason why is because Ryan Garcia quit in that fight, in that fight against Gervonta Tank Davis. At first, I said he didn't quit. But now that I'm watching the fight, nah, bro. It's clear he quit. And the reason why I say it is because in the seventh, in the seventh round after the knockdown, he let the referee count to 10 and then immediately stood up. If a person is really hurt, they're, you know, they're out of their wits. or not out of their wits. If they're really just writhing in pain, they continue to stay down even after the referee finishes the 10 count. They don't just immediately rise off of the floor. That let, that let me know that Ryan Garcia did not want to continue because he knew what was waiting for him. He knew he was going to be obliterated and knocked out in crazy fashion. And I mean like viral fashion. He didn't want to be viral on all these different social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Snapchat, he didn't want to be, he didn't want to be on somebody's highlight reel. He really didn't want to be in that mix. He already got a highlight reel type knockdown in the second round. He rather had gone out saying, hey, I can't continue versus being stopped in vicious fat in vicious fashion, fashion, because people are gonna he, in his mind, people are gonna remember me being knocked out crazily after I talked cash, after I was talking crazy. But what's crazier is people are always gonna re remember the fact that. He didn't get up. He didn't continue. And he, he looked like he quit to the world. People are going to remember that more than anything. So he was afraid of being people remembering him being knocked out and sent to the canvas in crazy fashion. People are going to remember you quitting this fight. Why? Because this was Ryan Garcia's, I guess, not yeah, his step up. This was a, his big moment, right? His big time moment, his first big moment under the public eye in the public sphere where every all eyes were on him and Tank Davis. This was a fight that was looked at as the fight of the year type, especially if Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford don't get made. People were looking at that fight as the fight to, to watch. And in your biggest moment, you just quit and you just sit down and let the 10 count. It's not going to be looked at favorably at all. And he's going to have to redeem himself from this because people are going to look like, Look at him like, okay, when adversity kicks in, when things aren't going your way, are you just going to bow out? People don't like fighters like that because most fighters aren't wired that way. But you have some who are, like Victor Ortiz. Whenever something wasn't going his way, he'd rather just stop fighting than to go out and, and, and get done bad. Or, you know, he just felt like he can't go on, he can't go on. You know, Victor Ortiz had a serious case of the quits. And people are going to be looking at Ryan as, like, do you do you have that same thing that Victor Ortiz has in him? Do you got that in you too? Or do you are you made of something different? And he's gonna have to prove to the world that he's made of something different, or else people are gonna always have that label have that label attached to that brother. You know, he's gonna be fighting against that for a while. So yeah, he didn't end up on highlight reels like that. He, I mean, outside of that second round knockdown, he didn't end up stretched out, stretched out in the ring like Manny Pacquiao in that situation. But you know he's not going to be looked at favorably, right? Case in point, Deontay Wilder got knocked out in vicious fashion uh, in this in the third fight, right? Second fight he went up, he went out, but he was he was getting hit with all type of shots, getting battered, but he was still on his own feet. The third fight, you know, he went to the ground and he he got knocked out, he got stopped, right? However, people always remember the heart and and, and the, the, the desire that Deontay Wilder, the will, the resiliency he showed in that fight. Even after getting hurt the first time, he knocked Tyson Fury down twice. And he kept swinging, kept swinging, kept swinging, rather going out on his shield than to just fall down and just let him let himself be counted out. You know, he kept going, kept going. 
And I always talk about this with fighters. There are certain fighters who, when they hear the oohs and ahs from the crowd, when things aren't going their way and they hear the crowd, ooh, 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 you could be looked at as a favorite and the fans are looking like, oh my God, they're in awe of what's happening to you. Some guys pack it in. They mail it in and say, you know what? Let's just get up out of here. I want to get away from this embarrassing moment. It's time for me to wipe my hands with this shit and go home. So they just willfully just get counted out. They get knocked out and they just let it be what it be. They don't have no fight in them. Then you have other guys who hear those oohs and ahs and they're like, okay, look, whatever going on on the outside, it is what it is. It's me against this man. I got to figure out how I'm going to make this shake, how I'm going to overcome this onslaught. And Ryan Garcia, didn't. he didn't do that. Now, Tank Davis is levels above Ryan Garcia, and I knew that already. But I knew the punching power was going to be like, it was going to be too much for Ryan. Ryan ain't never faced somebody that can crack like that. He got dropped by Luke Campbell. Luke Campbell's not a puncher. Some call it a flash knockdown all you want to, but uh, he got knocked down. He got caught with something, for real. And I know Tank had the potential to catch him with something devastating. And that knockout, if he would have got up, it was going to be a devastating knockout because Tank smelt blood. Matter of fact, when he landed the shot, he said, yeah, shook his head up and down. He knew I got this boy hurt. I'm going to get this dude up out of there. Right? And he was going to get stopped in, in vicious fashion. Ryan Garcia didn't want none of that. He chose to mail it in and go home, still looking like, you know, his face wasn't unscathed. He'd rather be looking upright. Didn't it be looking like he just got sent to the shadow realm? So he made a business decision. Now that business decision is going to look shaky on him. People are not going to look at He's going to have to earn his star power back in a way. Now the girl's going to always continue to like him and all that. Because, you know, girls look at looks and all of that. He's going to have some strong fans that's still going to stick by his side. But there's certain people that looked at him in a certain way. They're going to look at him a little. He's going to be looking funny in a light. And he's going to have to earn that back. Certain fighters have earned a certain reputation back after certain, you know, after being stopped or whatever. You know, and you can always still recover from those things in certain ways. But Ryan, in his as a young fighter, in his in his in an hour that's supposed to be his finest hour, he was just like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. And it, it, it got him looking shaky in the light. So people don't look at him with the same type of reverence they once did. And you can't be mad at that. When you see a dude get up. Right after the referee finished counting, he get up immediately. You know, you looking like, damn, he could he could have continued. And the, some some fans feel like, man, I wanted to see it go down in the worst way. I wanted to see if Ryan could fight back from that. I wanted to see him try to get up and try to get Tank up off of him. Some people feel like I wanted to see Tank get him up out of there in vicious fashion. I wanted to see Tank finish him. Some people feel like I wanted to see if Ryan could stave it out into the next round. And then if Tank, well, let's see if Tank could have rebounded and still finished him after that. It's a whole lot of what ifs in that fight, even though I know the, the result was going to be the result, no matter what the hell they talking about. I knew what I knew. You, I called it in the second round. But some people were still looking and clamoring for more from that fight, but they couldn't see it because Ryan, he gave up, point blank period. And that's why he's not looking favorable anymore, because he quit. That's it. That's all. Machiavelli Mills TV. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Patreon uh, information is going up this week. Patreon, Patreon, Patreon. Have all different type of talks about every single thing, anything you want to talk about. I'm out. Peace.